this petition is titled Petition for the Creation and Implementation of the Regis Report. And this is signed uh, on behalf of constituents to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. Whereas on May 27, 2020, Regis Kurczynski Packett's mother called 911 for police assistance during a family dispute. Within minutes of the police arriving, Regis ended up deceased on the ground 24 floors below. A call for assistance ended in death. Whereas other calls for assistance that ended in the death include April 6, DeAndre Campbell Kelly shot to death by police in Peel, May 8, Caleb Nyoko in London fell 15 floors from his balcony while police were present, and June 20th, Ijaz Chowdhury shot to death by police in Malton. Whereas the provincial government has a responsibility to ensure all residents are safe and will not be subject to differential treatment by law enforcement based on race, religion, or mental state. Whereas a report by the Ontario Human Rights Commission titled Under Suspicion, Concerns About Racial Profiling by Police found that case law recognizing racial pro recognizes racial profiling in a systemic problem in policing. Whereas in the interim report, a collective impact, the OHRC found that black people are grossly overrepresented in cases involving police use of force that results in serious injury or death. Despite making up only 8.8% .8 of Toronto's population, black people were overrepresented in the use of force cases, 28.8%, shootings, 36%, deadly encounters 61.5% and fatal shootings 70% and are 20 times more likely to be shot by police. Whereas Toronto City Council acknowledging the existing existence of anti-black racism, anti-indigenous racism and its connection to police brutality passed a motion on July 1st, 2020 calling on the provincial government to address police violence and systemic racism. We, the undersigned, petitioned the Legislative Assembly of Ontario to implement a human rights-based provincial strategy named the Regis Report that includes the following. Immediate implementation and expansion of the existing crisis intervention teams to be available 24 hours a day to accompany police officers to all calls for mental health and wellness checks, to de-escalate crisis and prevent unnecessary use of force by police officers, the reinstatement of the Safer Ontario Act 2018, along with the recommendations made by Justice, Justice Tullock's police oversight review that would apply to the SIU and other police oversight agencies, the release of names of police officers present at any incident investigated by the SIU should any member of the public request it, a thorough review of the equipment and use of force regulation RRO 9090, regulation 926, so as to emphasize de-escalation and address the use of deadly force, the immediate divestment of associated budgets, budget lines towards equitable excuse me, equitable community-centered and harm reduction focused on first responders, a commitment to ensure COVID-19 recovery efforts include measures to end anti-Black, anti-Indigenous racism and address the mental health challenges exacerbated by COVID-19 for many Ontarians. Thank you.